Okay, we've got the Emperor in reverse, Aries, the Star, Aquarius, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh. The Nine of Pentacles reversed, and the Six of Cups, okay. Strength, Leo on the back. In these readings, we get Leo energy a lot. I don't know if many of you are Leo, so you have you have Leo in your chart or your person does, but it seems to be very um, prevalent in my readings in terms of signs and energy. Okay. Right, so is your Divine Masculine or the Divine Masculine energy here being a little bit stubborn at the moment? Some of you may actually uh, be blocked at this time. Um... If it's not that, another scenario, you may not be aware that your person isn't doing too good. They actually are having to defend themselves in some kind of way from people, from, uh, from people. Yeah, here. So this could either be, there are people coming at them for whatever reason, or your person just feels that there's some sort of threat around them. Yeah, let's start here and work our way through. Shall I use this deck over here? Okay, so can you tell us what's going on with the Emperor and the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords? Seven of Wands. Wow, maybe there's... Yeah, I just feel that this is... You know, there's something going on with your person that you don't know. It's hidden from you. Well, we are, though, Amelia. <laughs> we are looking at what's hidden. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, it's been a long week. Okay, the Queen of Wands. So, you're, wow, okay, your person might be fighting for you, might be fighting for this connection. Now, this could be that they have actively said to people, to someone, you know, this is my person, you the viewer, I'm making this happen, or they're getting ready to step forward and they anticipate, because you can see, we don't know, are there really people, you know, with these uh, sort of wands or um, or these sticks or is it that they just propped up here and your person's imagining it so they might anticipate there's going to be some kind of backlash if they move forward with you but they have chosen you um, you're not seeing any of this the struggle they're either going through or they might go through or they think they're going to go through so that's what's hidden let's see uh, some more about this actually because that's really interesting I'm hearing welding or welder. I don't know if someone is a, is a welder or does welding. Death, Scorpio energy here. But yeah, look at this. Your person's been through a transformation and um, see how the heart is floating in the air. It, <laughs> they, they really feel that there's something they're going to have to fight, fight through to get to you. And um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a little bit difficult for them it could be something that's going to be difficult because it changes up their surroundings you know everything connected to the root chakra something very tangible or emotionally they have to stand strong you know maybe um family won't be happy or something to do with religion or i don't know they just anticipate that it might get a bit rough moving forward Anything else, please, for the Emperor, the Seven of Wands? Yes. Four of Swords in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. You see, they've chosen. They were juggling before, trying to keep this connection going or keep this around, but, but carrying on with their lives as their, their lives were. And it wasn't working. The two couldn't coincide. So they've chosen you. When we drop one of the Pentacles, we get the Ace of Pentacles. So possibly expect something tangible coming towards you, a tangible offer. The Four of Swords in the reverse. They have been resting, they have been thinking, there may have been silence between you for some time, they're getting ready to stand up and take action, and in this deck it says truce, and they're saying no, you know, I'm not just going to keep things smooth, I'm not going to, um, to keep things peaceful, I'm not going to back down and say, okay, fine, let's reach a truce. I'm fighting for what I actually want here, and yes, I may upset some people, but that's fine. I'm not going to just sit back and keep things harmonious for the sake of it anymore, because I'm not happy, you know? I want to be with my person. Okay. 
Okay, tell me about the star with the Queen of Pentacles, please, in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, if your person is with a karmic partner, and I know this isn't all of you, but if it does apply, um, they're really thinking about how to free themselves of that situation. And they're, they're in their heads. They can't logically maybe see a way just yet, but they're keeping faith. They're keeping hope. They're open to the messages that might be coming through, um, you know, from the divine. They might not think of it like that, you know, they might not say, oh, I've just had a moment of divine inspiration, but they might realize, oh, okay, actually that, that idea could work, you know, or um, they might see a billboard that has, uh, you know, some sort of professional message on it or the advice of some professional person that they might need to speak to. And then they'll say, oh, okay, yeah, maybe I should speak to that company or that person. Oh, wow, the hanged man in reverse. Yeah, see, they've been thinking for a long, long time. And now they're wanting to actually take action. On the floor, I'll show you when I've picked everything up, we have the fall. Yeah, so they're getting ready. They want this new beginning with you. And it's something they've been thinking about for a while. And I do feel you've had no communication or very little. And you haven't known the extent to which they've been thinking about this. <laughs> See, there it is again, the fall in reverse. In fact, you may even have thought that they um, had completely written you off. They've made their decision. You know, he, he's stepped back down. He's not on the ledge anymore. He's not willing to put himself out there. Your person's decided. Um, actually, no, what's hidden is that maybe they always felt they were going to come back. And you might be saying, um, given everything that's happened in the meantime, no, you know, they're not coming back. Some of you might be thinking, yeah, okay, come back and we'll sort this out. It depends on your situation, but I feel like for your, your person, no matter what's happened, it was never set in stone that they wouldn't return. Yeah, see, we have the Eight of Cups. So he goes on his journey. He looks like the hermit to me in this deck. He, you know, consults with the moon. He faces his fears. He figures things out, but then he comes back. Your person does not want to be separate from you. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They want a commitment with you. Remember I was saying, you drop a pentacle, you get the ace of pentacles, you add the ace to the nine of pentacles, you get the ten of pentacles, that's commitment. That sort of happily ever after, the home, the stability, whatever that, that happily ever after looks like to your person, that's what they want with you. They had options in the past. Now, maybe it was romantic options, but maybe they were very distracted with friends or doing other things. Um, but, you know, they went away, they looked in all of these cups, they really thought about it, and they realised, you know, this is a special cup. This is the Six of Cups, you know, it's a soul connection here. They might feel that there's, it's like there's instant recognition between you, even if you haven't known each other long, but it's not just, oh, I feel like we've met before, it's my soul understands and recognises your soul. You see me, you know me intuitively in a way that nobody else does i'm hearing for some of you maybe you've defended your person maybe there, there are things they've done um that other people have have disapproved of um or people have written them off or something they've done or the way they've behaved that makes has made people in the past see them in well not a very good light and you have always You've not judged that, but you've, you've seen through to some kind of purity or you've seen through to who they really are on a soul level. Something like that is in you've been you've been in this energy for your person, you know, you're sort of standing here, standing your ground, defending them. And they may not have even known, you know, maybe quite literally people you both know or something like that have been talking about your person, saying not very good things. And you've been standing up for them and they never knew about this. Um, Also, it could be that deep down you've always believed in the sort of innocence, the purity of this connection. And even if things got rough, even if things happened that weren't ideal, you, it's almost like you might have stood strong against your ego and said, no, you know, I believe I have this hope deep down. But what's hidden is that your person has made a decision. That decision is that they will not postpone this anymore that things in their life that feel overwhelming need to be restructured, reorganized, or entirely released so that they can move this forward with you. And they weren't prepared to do this in the past because it seemed too extreme. 
maybe even impossible. But, you know, they really went away, they really thought about this. And actually, if you are in separation or there is distance between you, this has been invaluable because it gave them the time, the space to realise what this connection means, what you mean to them. Okay, so we know they don't want to be separate. We know they don't want you to be single from them. They want you to be committed. What does this mean? What does this really look like? Let's see. I'm hearing you fought for them and they're about to fight for you. So take that as it resonates. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. And what's this? The Knight of Cups. In this deck, it's the King of Cups in reverse. Wow. So there's something they need to express, something they want to express, and it's weighing heavy on them. Something to do with feelings, something from their heart space that they would like to share with you. Yes, and look, do you see this man is in prison? There's something, a way maybe your person has live their life or something they've done like one particular thing or several things or, or something they do a behavior and other people have frowned upon this but you you have um you know you defended them you stood up for them the moon in the reverse yeah your person wants to tell you something and they feel that sharing this with you is the thing that's going to help you move forward in a more stable way I mean, it's not really a mystery. <laughs> it's not a mystery what they want to tell you. You know, the King of Cups, um, they love you, they're in love with you, or they have these extremely deep feelings for you. Just something to do with very positive emotions for you that they pushed away or didn't share in the past. Something about this connection brings your person back to um, the feeling of, you know, innocence, sort of childhood. Um, let's say your person had a difficult childhood. Um, it's like, this is, this is going to sound weird, but bear with me. <laughs> it's, it feels that they're getting a second chance with you. What I don't mean that they're looking at you as like, you know, a potential parent or anything, but you allow them to, if you think of the energy that we, we associate with children, whether accu accurately or not, we think of freedom, curiosity, um, exploration, a lack of uh, self-consciousness, all of these things they feel with you. Okay, so that is what's hidden. Let's do a Moonology card. I'm loving these at the moment. And I think we'll read from the book to get more info as well. And then we'll move on to our one question, one card reading. So if you want to be part of that, <clears throat> please leave a question for me in the comments, for me and for Spirit, and I'll enter you into the draw for Monday's reading. And if you um, win, we'll answer your question. We'll pull a card and see. So leave your question in the comments. And thank you for everyone who's left a question and who leaves questions. Okay, so what's the message, please? the message over the weekend from my viewers. I'm hearing the number eight. Okay. Be bold. Oh, hmm. let's see. <laughs> Be bold and make the first move. Now, ooh, this is slightly difficult because... I know for many of you, actually, not making the first move is what's going to be best now for you in this connection at this time. Because if you have been bending over backwards, I spoke about this before, you know, it might rob you of your opportunity to put into practice the, the new boundaries that you have, perhaps, or the journey you've been on, the things you've learnt for your person who's really, really, you know, making moves here to be strong, to find their strength. It might take the opportunity away from them to, to put this into practice as well, to push through that barrier. Um, I mean, for others of you, it's as simple as you're wondering, should you reach out? And that would be a yes. But let's have a look and see. What is this? Okay.
Okay, be bold and make the first move. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organising. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader. Yeah, so this is why I like to read the messages in this book, because this to me isn't so much even about making the first move or reaching out. It is about those boundaries, you know, having a clear idea of where you want to go and not settling. Um, yeah, you know, just, just being firm with your intention here. Um, hmm. Okay, so it says, attuned to the moon, I am taking charge of my destiny. Additional meanings, be bold and follow your heart and emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Come into your power. The time for action is now. And I do feel that your person um, is really doing this as well. Ask Ganesh, the Hindu elephant god, for help. Okay, so maybe the Hindu faith, religion is important to some of you in particular. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So if you're leaving us here, I hope this was helpful. I do think there will be movement, and I mean tangible, visible movement in your near future. What's hidden? Your person um, is going through something, getting ready to fight or currently fighting to get to you. And they may really literally be engaged in some kind of struggle, or it might be a struggle they anticipate or a struggle that's going on inside of them. But they are fighting, they are struggling nonetheless, either way. Okay, so thank you. If you'd like to book a reading, the link is in the description box below. Um, so is a Facebook group, free meditations, um, a link to my Twitter page. So lots of things down there. Have a good weekend. If you're in the UK, enjoy the bank holiday. You know, if you're anywhere else where there's a bank holiday, enjoy it too. If you're sticking around, I'm going to dive into the one question, one card reading. So I will see you again in a minute. Okay, so Lily, thank you so much for your question. So Spirit, can you tell us, will Lily's living situation improve soon? Will her living situation change? What can you show us, please? Will Lily's living situation <clears throat> change? Can we get a card, please? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Um, Nights are about movements, so I feel yes, but I'm also feeling that given the path you're currently on, it's almost like you're, you know, the thing that's going to push that final change to take you to the point where your living situation changes is an utter lack of uh, a complete inability to deal with things anymore. You know, you're pushed to breaking point, you're sick of it, maybe you're very angry. Um, there's a real hastiness here. It's like, I'm done, I have to move, I have to get out. So I'm seeing almost being pushed perhaps to breaking point. So if possible, try not to let it get to this point because it's not really that much of a comfortable energy, you know, the Knight of Swords. But I do see, yes, it looks like there will be very quick movement soon, the Knight of Swords. It's It could even be unexpected, you know. Maybe you think it's going to take a month, two more months, and then suddenly, say, you find the perfect place or, you know, whatever it is. But yes, I do think soon, suddenly, and almost a bit maybe unexpectedly as well. Okay, so if you'd like to leave your question below, please do. But thank you so much, everyone. I will see you again on Monday. Um, take care and have a nice week.